an interesting case. We're hoping it's not going to be too serious, but we're taking all the precautions. So he's been a typical um, puppy and he's eaten something he shouldn't have, but it's actually one I've not seen before. So what Bruce has eaten is 11 of these 12 um, growing foam animals. We're going to try and see how many of them we can get back out today so they don't cause a problem internally. So this is what he's eaten. He didn't eat the lion that was taken out yesterday, but some of the big ones like the elephant, etc., are still inside. So what we've done is we've fed him a little bit of food to help stick to those animals. And we're going to try and make them vomit now so we can get as many of those out as possible so they don't go on to cause an obstruction. Quite a good success here. Um, he's feeling a lot better. His injection's worn off now. And actually, he's, he's produced for us nine of the 11 safari animals we were looking for. Um, I don't think that we've managed to get out the camel. Uh, and I think possibly it's the zebra. That's the other one we're missing. Um, but they don't look exactly as I imagined, whether that's because he's eaten them or, or, or that's how they usually look. I don't know. But they're actually quite soft. And I don't think they've swollen up as much as we feared. So I think those remaining two should pass through absolutely fine. Um, and I'll leave the remainder of the safari hunt to, to the owner in their back garden.